Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just taking a short lunch break, so I thought I'd do an update on XXII as well, since we looked at that last night. Um, it looks like today that it's hitting what I said it would. <laughs> um, I thought it was going to go back down, and these are all the same lines from last night. Um, I thought it would go down to 3, and it's just about there. Um, I don't like that it di did it, but... <sighs> I kind of was thinking it would. Remember I said that this would be four times, and there it goes. It just went to three. Um, I don't think you should be worried, necessarily, that it's at three. I think that it was going to retest it no matter what. But I don't know where it's going to go from here, um, necessarily. Um, we could do a quick little uh, trend that we, we have going here and see what's going on. Yeah, because if you look at this, this is a pretty extreme trend that it was on, right? That's going to be hard to maintain. So if we pull it back down here, that's still a pretty extreme trend, right? So, but the thing is, psychologically at 3, it should hold there. Let's check our indicators. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, so our MACD is kind of leveling off. It's still pretty far away from the slow. Let's pull up our stochastic momentum. Yeah, again, that's meeting down as well. And let's pull up, I want to see the RSI actually. Okay, so yeah, if you look, the RSI was extremely high. So it's natural that it's going to need to cool off. Um, it wasn't super overbought, but it's still really high. Um, I mean, that's, I think, from just gaining attention on stock twits and all the other social media and everything as well. So, I really think it needs to build the support around 3 for a bit longer. I don't think it's going to dip below 3 necessarily very far. Um, but if it does, it should recover to 3, back to $3 today. Um, but again, it just, it needs to cool off everything's a little high this is going back down so I would keep an eye on the stochastic momentum and see but let's also switch over to our um, 60 minute chart here and see how those indicators look for that um, so yeah if you look at here the RSI is a lot better on the 60 minute but remember on the daily we're still pretty high and our stochastic momentum here has a chance um, of reversing back here so that's why i mean you can see that the three dollars might be a good place for it to hang out for the rest of the day and possibly close at because this is going to need to start turning around and i don't know necessarily when it will start turning around um but i think three dollars is a very good closing price and i think it just needs to build that support there just a little bit longer i don't know if we'll retest down here at 276 i don't think that'll happen but maybe more around like the 290, 289 range, that's very possible. But let's hope for a close around 3, and don't get too scared yet, but if you start seeing it dip, you know, to the 286, 275 range, and continue to keep falling, then I'd start to, you know, wake up a little bit on it. But this seems perfectly natural and normal, what it's doing right now. It's just cooling off, resetting, and hopefully what it's going to do is just fill this gap range some more steady out and then start building more up because again guys you had so much greed in a row it's gonna have to settle out at some point and it did it a bit here but remember that's a very fast climb back up so it it needs to build a little bit more support but i would not be scared yet i'll go ahead and keep this 3 and 330 line here today um but yeah, just keep an eye out, and if it starts dropping hard past this uh, 276 range it keeps going, then, yeah, keep an eye out. Alright guys, that's just a short update on XXII, and uh, good luck to you guys.